John, uh, you talked at length with Davy after the game at uh, Dumbarton. Um, do you think a draw was the least we deserved, given how much possession we had? Overall, over the whole game, uh, yeah, I thought it was uh, the least we deserved. Yeah, you could, if you were a, a critic, you would possibly say that uh, Dom Thomas had a couple of chances late that he would normally stick away, but he didn't, and that would have made the scoreline three one at that particular time, and probably would have won the game for Dumbarton. But I think overall, from the over the whole 93 minutes or whatever it was I, I certainly feel that we, de we definitely deserved a draw yeah when it comes late you know you know it's just again if your glass is half full or half empty we can lose a, a we, we, we score a late goal and we're lucky but when we lose a late goal you know and no one says you're unlucky you know what I mean so I think we earned the right to score the goal because we kept on going you know the guys kept on going they kept on playing they kept on plugging away they kept on if you want putting the ball in the box and that one was a very very good ball right in the box and Kem has managed to just get a glancing header on it enough to continue on his way into the back of the net so I feel that it was it was merited uh, they'll feel a bit sore but then we feel a bit sore when Forfer score a late goal out here you know so that's uh, that, that's football and as I say you know it was a a point that we needed you know we wanted to try and make something of the you know our game in hand over Forfer uh, so, you know, we, we got a point, not as good as three, we went for three. We were in a position to get three by, you know, getting ourselves in front, maybe building on that. However, there was two strikes. Again, I would be uh, suggesting that the goals were cheap from our point of view and both the goals, we had good possession of the ball and gave it away needlessly. Uh, once in our left back era with Callum Crane that we never quite, you know, uh, Regain possession, and when the ball's kind of cleared, it fell very nicely for Ross Force to, to strike a strike, and he's got a, he has got a great strike. And then, likewise, you know we have the ball in a right back position, and again we should probably clear the ball, do something with it. We've tried to, you know, I don't know, usher the ball out if you want to call it that, and we get robbed of the ball. Don Thomas goes on the byline. Cuts it back, and Caswell hits an equally good strike away in the far corner, and we lose two goals out of very little. But Dumbarton have picked up in recent weeks and they had a good result against uh, East Fife, they had a good result against uh, Stranraer. So they have picked up and they were, you know, better than the, the two previous games that we've played them. Uh, so, you know, we take the point, we move on, we're looking to try and build momentum, get confidence and get good performances between now and the end of the season uh, to build momentum and have that feel-good factor right to the very end. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and after... Uh a game that lasts the full 93 minutes uh, and a bit of a road trip for some of the players. Am I right in thinking that it was day off Wednesday and a slightly lighter session today? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, We, we, we were in Sunday after uh, the, the game at the weekend, uh, the Montrose game, and then we were in Monday, train Monday, and then you know obviously we played the game on the Tuesday night. So Wednesday was off yesterday and we had a light, lightest session today. Uh, the guys all getting sort of massages and... You know, we've, we've, we've done a bit of training, recovery, and a, and a massage type thing to, to get them all loosened off and and in good condition for the game on on Saturday down in down in Ra. Yeah. And, uh, and tomorrow's session, do you is, is there a temptation to ramp up a little bit, or do you just keep them ticking over for a Saturday? No, you've you know you've got to try and keep your legs. You know, yeah. the boys are uh, you know they're, they're as fit as they're ever going to be. What you don't want to do is leave your legs on the training ground. You know, so. We will train tomorrow and we'll go over the things that we need to do to get us in uh, uh, you know, tactically uh, when it comes to what, how we want to go and play uh, against against Stranra. Yeah, and looking to Stranra, you know themselves with a, a draw, a win, and a loss in the last three games, um, you'll not be taking them lightly, and you'll know what to expect from a Stevie Farrell team. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, Marcel and Paul Smith watched them against Ardbroath uh, just before we played Ardbroath, and they they got a very very good draw up there. We know the the threat that they have, but at the same time, I think we can cause them problems, and uh, that's certainly you know the way that we're going to go about the game, trying to cause the Stranraer defence you know problems. Uh, we'll need to defend well. Yeah, we definitely will. It's uh, par for the course. Uh, they played at home on Tuesday night, so both teams have played midweek games. They played at home on the grass, you know, possibly we'd cut up a wee bit, might not be the best surface. Uh, however, you know, we've got to go down there and you get the same three points for winning on a good surface or a bad surface or putting in a good performance or a bad performance. We, you know, we haven't ever won, haven't played anything bar very well, you know, so uh, we'll probably need to go down there and play well to win, yeah. 
uh, and with uh, the, the temptation is among supporters sometimes to cast your eyes elsewhere and look at other results at the same time that you're playing. Uh, needless to say, four for East Fife on Saturday. It's a chance to pull away a wee bit. Yeah, well, obviously we've got to concentrate on our game, and that's exactly what we'll be doing. But you're right. Uh, you know, they they do play each other, and that's that's a fact. You know, and so. You know, they either both get one point or one of them gets three points, and we've got to be make sure that we are doing our part and make sure that we take care of Stranra, and then see you know at five o'clock where after you know when the dust settles the other results that, that come in, and how that's uh, affected us. You know, yeah. and um, um, in terms of the squad that you put out, um, the thing we always ask injury wise is there any progress or movement on the injury front? Well, Kel Benedict has uh, seen the consultant on Monday and he does not need an operation, which is a bonus, that's that's good news. Uh, there's obviously you know, that damage done to the knee and it, we are kind of estimating between two and three months being out, so it's still months rather than you know just a few weeks. Uh, but, you know, he's very positive and he's actually improving fairly quickly, actually, you know, considering, you know, when he got the injury and how bad it is, he's... Uh, He's, he's, you know, there's no point saying he's ahead, but he's, he's in good spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that that's all positive. Uh, obviously, Lewis Vaughan will be out at the weekend. Lewis had his operation, which went well. I think we said last week about the staples. He's got to get the staples out uh, ten days after the operation. So probably beginning of next week, he'll get the staples out, and he goes back in six weeks to see the consultant again. So again, you know, uh, Lewis is been very positive about it so you know as far as we can, at this moment in time you know all good we just need he's got the long haul back to, to fitness uh, Chris Duggan will be out at the weekend and that weather will be out at the weekend we anticipate uh, he was kind of nursing this kind of strained hamstring and just, just because the game came so quickly if it had been Saturday it's Saturday and that would have been fine and now we have you know Tuesday night to Saturday it's probably going to be too quick but mm. it's nothing serious and we expect them to be fit for the following Saturday against the other but I'd like to um, thank the fans who travelled down to Dumbarton on Tuesday night they supported us right to the end and that was very very much appreciated and coming off the park their their applause and their uh, you know their their greetings at the end of the game were you know were, were, were well appreciated by by everyone and even you know the recent home games I think that the the singing section has been a success, you know. Uh, again, I'd like to thank them. It's not been mentioned, but I'd like to thank them for that uh, and keep it going. You know, it's it's made a difference, yeah. Yeah. Well, the the way so the, the travelling support are looking forward to the weekend as a as a way all, and we wish you well for the game against Stranraer. Thank you. Yeah.